Hey guys, Speed Rebel Chris Tomer here with this Saturday mountain weather update. I want to talk about this lake effect event. So some amazing video right here out of uh, Watertown, New York. I showed you those two bands, those heavy bands of lake effect snow, one over Watertown and then one just south of Buffalo. We'll look at both, but that's Watertown and cloud to ground lake effect lightning with that thing. Absolutely incredible. Uh, weather Nation re tweeted some excellent video out of I-90. This is south of uh, the Buffalo area. I mentioned the town Dunkirk. I mean, some of these places have seen almost three feet. Look at that. All those cars just buried and stranded on I-90. And, and it's not over yet. I mean, look at that. And it's some deep snow. I mean, once that happens, you just can't move. Everybody gets backed up. Deep snow. It'll take some time to get in there. Here's radar. So you can see these two bands of snow, um, one just north of Syracuse and then the other one just south of Buffalo. So both of them producing heavy snow accumulation. Here's the one coming off of Lake Erie and Dunkirk DRK is right there. Most of this is just south of Buffalo proper, although Buffalo is going to get some accumulation out of this as well. And, you know, where the Bills play, likely in this snow band as well at times, right in and out of that northern periphery. So <laughs> all of that to, to look forward to today. All right, let me set the table here is water vapor across the west. Keep in mind, we're beneath high pressure for a lot of the lower 48, and that keeps that shifts all the action out to the east. Cold air for the Great Lakes producing lake effect. And there's a storm system coming down the road, 12-4, 12-5, 12-6. Um, I'll show you all that coming up. But out west, again, let me just mark this. So you've got this dry air intrusion over a lot of the lower 48 with this high pressure sitting about right here. Now all the action with this area of low pressure here and then there's stuff spinning in behind it. All of this is being routed up into parts of BC and Canada and then it's spilling down into the Great Lakes and then running up into the Northeast. So this is where all the cold air is out here. It's going to get a lot warmer across the west, across the Intermountain West as a result of this high pressure. Okay, let me show you my timeline for odds of best snow. Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado, Tahoe, Interior, BC, and the Northeast. So we finally have a little bit of snow. It's just a touch, but it's there for the Wasatch, Tetons, and Colorado anywhere from 12-7, 12-8, 12-9. -12 and I'll show you what that storm looks like coming up. It's coming basically straight out of Canada and from the north. Tahoe, nothing. Interior BC, light initially, and then moderate to heavy 12, 6, 7, and 8. In the northeast, got light snow on 12, 2. Obviously, you've got lake effect snow going on today and tomorrow. Um, but the, looking at actual storm systems here, 12, 3, 4, 5, and 6, moderate to heavy snow accumulation. There's an actual storm system, a, a clipper-like storm that will come down and maybe develop into a coastal event. So we'll have to look at all that. Um, all right, let me just bring you up to speed on this final day of November as to where we stand. Season to date snowfall at, uh, and I can't, I can't put every resort on here, but I put all of the, I put as many as I could on the uh, the chart here. So you can see uh, 133 for Timberline, Revel Stokes up there having a good start to the season at 131, Bachelors up there at 120. Who else we got on the list here? So Wolf Creek is high up there. Look at Copper Mountain at 107 so they're already they've already cracked 100 wolf creeks at 94 snow mass aspen mountain 85 to 90 inches the highlands at about 85 alta is right here at about 84 inches vales at 84 so vale and alta right now have equivalent amounts of season to date snowfall pretty interesting winter park is right there with uh, snowbird at, in the middle 70s Looking further down the list, obviously the Northeast is just starting to pick up some good snow out of this, and we've got another storm on the way. So Jay Peak and Kellington will continue to add more. Park City is at about 45. Sunshine Village at about 54. Steamboat's right there in the middle 50s. So um, let's check in on the Sierra. Palisades Tahoe in the middle 50s, almost 60 inches. So there's your update. I'll keep an eye on that. Keep it tabulated as we roll through the season. All right, here's your jet stream forecast. So by close of business today, there it is. We've got some wind coming through Colorado today, especially right on top of the Continental Divide. 
um, 40, 50, 60 mile an hour wind gusts. Um, so it's kind of windy. It's windy up in Wyoming today. No surprise there. All right, so watch the jet arc to the north. That bend is, is uh, produced by this high pressure ridge. And everything over the Pacific is getting routed up into Canada. And then, of course, everything's spilling down through the northeast. Right there, you see that? 12, 8, 12, 9, the jet basically drops north to south out of Canada and allows a cold front to come down through Montana. Wyoming brushes Utah and hits Colorado. So that's, that's potentially the next storm system. Let me show you what the forecast radar and satellite looks like right here. So by 5.30 this afternoon, clouds spilling down through Wyoming and Colorado with high winds and that jet-induced sort of pressure, pressure gradient right there with all that wind. Okay, by the time we get into Sunday, not much going on. Everything's up into Canada. Here's Tuesday. There's Wednesday. I'm just going to let this thing roll. And I'll stop it when we get close to this, this storm system. Okay, you see that storm hitting the Pacific Northwest in BC? Piece of it starts to drop down. There's 12.7 into Idaho, Montana, Wyoming. And then here it comes, the rest of it in the form of a cold front, 12.8. And then by 12.9, potentially sliding through the Wasatch, Hyuenas, and straight into Colorado. And then that moves away. That's a long way off. Here's my snow forecast. Um, so what you see in Colorado, northern New Mexico, Wyoming, Utah, for the most part, again, that happens 12, 7, 12, 8, 12, 9, if that cold front holds together, and, and Montana for that matter as well. 99% um, of the snow prior to that is going to be up in a BC, Canada, and then down through the Northeast and the Great Lakes. In fact, let's take a look at that. So you see a little bit of that around Snow Ridge. That's lake effect induced. Um, and of course, down around just south of Buffalo, you're going to get lake induced um, lake effect snowfall. Um, what you see in Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine, that's largely from 12.3 to 12.6. There's a storm system that will come down and drop these types of numbers. Uh, and just like yesterday, it's really favoring northern Vermont, northern New Hampshire, and northern Maine for the biggest numbers. Potentially up in those spots, 6 to 12 inches of accumulation, and then less as you go south generally. But pretty good stuff through Snow Ridge. Again, lake effect snow on the way. All right, back to the big map across the west. Again, my forecast snow all of today, the final day of November through the 9th of December, and potentially a cold front dropping south on 12 7 12 8 12 9 from montana wyoming and into colorado all right guys thanks for tuning in here on this final day of november i appreciate it take care and have a great day